it was the first warm weekend of the spring, so I was getting ready to mow for the first time, and I was out there in the barn. A spider bite took a big chunk out of my leg, and so far it's taken two weeks out of my life. A spider bite. Never thought that would happen. The brown recluse name kind of describes their behavior, which is that they are reclusive. Uh, they tend to want to stay out of the light, and our encounters with them as people tend to be accidental. You, know, you brush up against them. One of the more common ways that people get bit is they're in clothing or clutter, uh, inside shoes. At the time, I didn't feel the bite. I woke up in the middle of the night, 2 a.m., had an intense fever, and the back of my leg was on fire. Well, typically, patients don't even know they've been bitten because it doesn't really hurt initially. The spider venom is a very complex chemical mixture, and honestly, we're not 100% sure what in it is bad, but it does cause destruction of the body cells. This is like on my hamstring on my left leg. Makes me think I might have sat on a spider, you know. What did it look like at first? It just started out as a red spot. And it wasn't until a couple days later that this necrosis started. There was a black area that kept growing around the, the bite. The secondary infection, the redness was spreading and was going further and further up my leg. And, and then there's a lymph node up by the groin that was starting to turn black and blue and was very painful. So I was real concerned that this necrosis was moving up my leg. In the central area that's dark and then a little bit white here is the area where he's had some tissue necrosis. Depending how large that area is, we sometimes have to remove the necrotic tissue and that can leave uh, a fairly deep wound on the body that will take time to heal. If it's large enough, sometimes it can even require a skin graft for closure. You know, I'm hoping that uh, it's going to heal over and I don't need a graft. I, I'm real anxious to see what he says today when he examines it. Has he told you where they would take that from? The graft uh, for the... Yeah, he said a news reporter. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're going to make sure we have the same blood type. Then. <laughs>